Defying all odds and against all limitations, Turkey is well on its way to becoming the fourth most powerful nation in the world, and it's all thanks to one fighter jet, the TFX. The TFX places Turkey in an exclusive list of countries that have dared and succeeded in single-handedly developing a fifth-generation fighter jet, right next to Russia, China, and the US. This is rather interesting because the tension between the US and Turkey is, in no small part, what gave rise to the TFX, and now the fighter is expected to be one of the American F-22 Raptor's biggest rivals. And this isn't all that's interesting about the new Turkish fighter. There's more. For over a decade, Turkey showed interest in having an air force that could match any across the world. However, this only stayed as an interest with no major world-dominating modernization news coming out of the Turkish camp, not until the strength of the alliance between Turkey and the US began to wobble. Currently, it's at an all-time low. This resulted in Turkey buying Russian weapons, the US banning Turkey from acquiring the F-35 Lightning II, and so on. Unable to buy the newest, most intelligent American stealth fighter, Turkey would now create one on its own, one that rivals the intelligence of the F-35, but more impressively, rivals the air superiority of the F-22 Raptor. This would no doubt be quite the task, but it appears Turkey is more prepared for it than most realize. The country already has an impressive CV of aerial assets that are advanced enough to dictate the outcome of a war. Case in point, the Bayraktar TB2 currently in Ukraine fighting Russian aggression, and the more notable Kizil Elma drone. With its stealthy profile, agile maneuverability, high subsonic speeds, heavy weapons payload, the ability to operate from aircraft carriers, and much more, the Kizil Elma drone is less of a drone and more of a fighter jet, one of the earliest unmanned fighter jets on the planet. So Turkey is in no way a newbie to developing world-class aircraft, and at remarkable speeds, too. The first prototype of the TFX is currently on an assembly line in Ankara, with a striking resemblance to the F-22 Raptor. The bulk of the fuselage and wings have already been brought together. The remaining components are expected to be installed soon, and this prototype in Ankara, according to government officials, will be rolled out in 2023. One year later, it will make its first flight, introducing the world to the $100 million TFX fighter jet in its natural habitat as it showcases its wide catalog of capabilities. The TFX is a single or double-seat stealth twin-engine all-weather air superiority fighter under development by Turkish Aerospace Industries, or TAI. In January 2017, TAI signed a $120 million deal with the largest defense contractor in Europe, BAE Systems, for the company to become a subcontractor in the development of the TFX. The result of this teaming would be a fighter that wields not only the best Turkish weapons, but also, and probably more importantly, the finest avionics, propulsion, and airframe. TFX Avionics the TFX is expected to feature upgraded variants of avionics systems from one of the major contractors of Turkish Armed Forces, the Turkey-based Aselsan Corporation. These systems would include a radar warning receiver, a missile warning system, a laser warning system, chaff and flare management, an AESA radar, dispensing system, and a digital radio frequency memory-based jamming system. Extending beyond the fifth-generation realm into the sixth, the TFX is expected to have improved data link capabilities for network-enabled warfare that enables the fighter to integrate with loyal wingmen drones flying alongside to perform crucial sub-missions. TFX Propulsion The details of the propulsion system for the TFX are not yet written in stone as the fighter is still in the prototype stage. The prototype will be equipped with two General Electric F-110 engines, each producing up to 17,155 pound force of thrust dry and 29,000 pound force of thrust with afterburner engaged. This will be so until the TAEC engine, a joint venture between the Turkish Kale and British Rolls-Royce, is completed and ready. However, besides these two engines, an alternative engine from an undisclosed nation could eventually find a home on the TFX. With these engine options, the TFX is expected at the very least to have a blurry top speed of Mach 2, a marathon-like combat range of 690 miles, and a space-bordering service ceiling of 55,000 feet. TFX Airframe 
In the earlier stages, there were three conceptual designs for the TFX fighter. They included the high-agility Canard Delta Saab JAS-39 Gripen-like configuration, the General Dynamics F-16-like configuration, and the eventual winner, the twin-engine Lockheed Martin F-22-like configuration. As has been unmistakably advertised by the F-22, this winning configuration comes with a fuselage design optimized for low radar cross-sectional density, internal weapons bays, and the ability to supercruise, features that cannot be compromised in a fifth-generation fighter. To bring this design to life, the Advanced Carbon Composite Fuselage for the TFX is being produced at TAI's Advanced Carbon Composites Fuselage Facility the same facility that was commissioned in Turkey to produce fuselages for the F-35 before Turkey was cut off from the program. In search for perfection, the Turkish Undersecretariat for Defense Industries has also issued a tender for the development of a new, lighter carbon composite thermoplastic for the TFX fuselage. These are a lot more capabilities than the fighters the TFX will enter service to replace, that is, the F-16 Fighting Falcons in the Turkish Air Force and a suite of other fighters across the air forces of countries that the new Turkish fighter will be exported to. Such widespread adoption would cement the fighter's place as one of the most appealing fighters of modern times. But to truly be the world's top fighter, it must go head-to-head -head against the current top fighter, the F-22 Raptor. It's already been established that the TFX bears a striking resemblance to the F-22. And as the F-22 was introduced into service in 2005, the TFX has at least 17 years of technological advancements on its side. However, there is still that question of the fighter ever leaving the production line. Developing a stealth fighter is expensive. The U.S. has spent around $70 billion developing and building 194 F-22s, plus billions more operating them since 2005, multiple times more Turkey's entire $20 billion annual defense budget. In the event that Turkey does overcome this hurdle, though, and gets the TFX out into the field in a direct or indirect battle with the F-22, which fighter wins boils down to how well the avionics, propulsion, and airframe of the TFX mentioned earlier would match up with the avionics, propulsion, and airframe of the F-22 Raptor. F-22 Avionics The F-22's avionics consists of systems designed to make the fighter as intelligent as can be. These systems include the AN-ALR-94 electronic warfare system with more than 30 antennas for passive detection and all-round radar warning receiver coverage, the AN-AAR-56 infrared and ultraviolet missile launch detector for full spherical infrared coverage, the AN-APG-77 AESA radar with low observable active aperture electronically scanned antenna for track wall scan capabilities in all weather conditions. All information from these systems is processed into a combined tactical picture to enhance pilot situational awareness by two Hughes Common integrated processors, each capable of processing up to 10.5 billion instructions per second. And to lower interception probability, the radars on the F-22 change frequencies more than 1,000 times per second. This high frequency enables these radars to double as electronic warfare systems that overload enemy sensors into an electronic brain freeze. F-22 Propulsion The F-22 Raptor is a twin-engine fighter with two Pratt & Whitney F-119 PW100 augmented turbofan engines. These engines are closely spaced and incorporate pitch-access thrust vectoring nozzles for athletic-level agility. Each engine has a maximum thrust of 35,000 pound-force, 20% more than those on the TFX. The engines on the F-22 thrust the supercruise-capable fighter to a peak altitude of 50,000 feet, 5,000 feet short of the TFX, and to a top speed of Mach 2, matching the TFX Mach for Mach. These engines also give the Raptor a superior maximum operating range of 2,000 miles, almost three times more than the TFX offers. F-22 Airframe The F-22 Raptor's airframe was built from the ground up to be invisible to radar, and with a radar cross-section of 0.0001 meters squared, the same as that of a steel marble, that mission was accomplished. The F-22 is the stealthiest fighter ever built. It achieved this with attention to the tiniest and largest of details, from the shaping of its airframe and actively cooling its leading edges to lavish radar-absorbent material coating. To maintain these stealth capabilities, the Raptor is fitted with a signature asset system that delivers warnings when the radar signature is degraded and repair is necessary. 
In terms of a stealthy airframe, no country, not Russia, not China, has so far come close to developing a fighter that could stand against the F-22. And while Turkey's TFX will no doubt give an applaudable try, the chances remain slim in its first go at an underdog to master tail. But in the second go, or the third, or the fourth after the fighter has been upgraded to its full potential, the TFX could go beyond expectations to tell the world a completely different tale. One of dominance, one of breaking boundaries, one of being the latest, most powerful fifth-generation fighter in the world. To be part of this tale, there's only one thing to do. You should subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. Thanks for watching.